Hey guys, it's Co-op, and today we're going to be taking a look at Diddy Kong's down tilt confirms. Something I'm asked frequently is what is the most efficient combo to do at most percents, but also what's a true combo. Lots of people will try to go for down tilt into grab, or down tilt down smash, or down tilt up smash too early, and miss because they either get hit by a character with a frame 3 nair, or they fall fast enough to either jab or spot dodge the grab. So we're going to start from the lowest percents. I want to note that most combos won't work if you hit the edge of down tilt because your opponent is starting too far away from you, and it's best to back off if you hit the edge of down tilt unless it's at kill percent. Let me explain the main progression of your follow-ups. From 10 to 30%, down tilt into jab is the true combo. We're starting with jab after down tilt because it's our fastest ground move at frame 3. From 30% to 50%, you can do down tilt into down tilt, and you can repeat this until they're too far away to hit another one. Down tilt is frame 4, so it's the reason why we don't start with it to continue because it's not fast enough. From around 50% to 70%, you can now do down tilt down smash, down smash starting on either frame 5 or 6. So as the percents get higher, now it's possible to use a stronger move that starts a little bit later. Now you have this very small window, between like 80 and 100% it's probably more narrow than that where you can do down tilt stutter step F smash which you've probably seen Zenoda or Zero do and you can actually seal out stocks if you do it at the edge but we'll talk about that a little bit later. And from around 110% to 150 depending on the character you're fighting, down tilt and jump cancel up smash will finish the stock. Also, if you're at the edge of the stage from around 100% to 160, down tilt into either Rar Bear or Fair can lead into a kill also. Rar Bear being better though because it has higher knockback and you'll kill earlier. But Fair also works too, especially if they have bad DI. A couple notes about things I want to add to the list that don't apply to everyone but you should know about. Floaties will shift your percents down between 10 and 20% depending on their weight and floating is obviously. Fast fallers means you need to be careful about them falling and hitting the ground and being able to shield attacks at low percents, but it also means the combo into down smash and up smash will last a little bit longer because they're going to stay closer to the ground. If they're DIing away, down tilt up smash won't be true at the end of the range of down tilt, but down tilt is a frame 4 move and most people aren't preemptively DIing it so you should be fine. I wanted to talk about it though because you can still rar bear when they do so unless their percent is literally right at the edge. Lastly, let's hit the two most important topics, down tilt into grab and the stutter step F smash. I do not believe there is a point where down tilt into grab is true unless they are right on top of you when you land the down tilt, and even then, sometimes I'm worried about it because the grab is frame 7, and we don't go for any moves that are past that till later percents. Most characters either get the option to nair, even if it isn't frame 3, or jump out. The mistakes players make is if they air dodge and they are too close to the ground, they'll be forced out of the air dodge when they hit the ground and get grabbed anyway. Now that brings us to the stutter step F smash, it's probably the only hard combo to execute on the list. Stutter step F smash is actually a technique that is carried over from ball in which you input a dash and immediately press A to get a smash attack. The time between the dash attack and the A press causes your character to dash and move slightly before being stopped by the F smash input. I'm assuming this is in there so there's some leniency on inputting a forward smash while also stopping you from sliding while doing so. By abusing this, you can move close enough to your opponent to connect the first hit of F smash after the down tilt, even at percents that will kill but it needs to be close to the edge of the stage. This takes a lot of practice and messing up could mean a heavy punish on your part or completely reversing a situation depending like Luigi's Nair if that hits you, so only go for this if you are pretty confident in landing it and the percent range. Hopefully this clears up what you should be doing at mid percents, if you feel confident go for down tilt grab. I still go for it sometimes, but against players that know how to mash A, like Luigi in those scenarios, just stay away from them. That's going to be it for this video, I'll see you guys next time.